Gotta settle on Crescente. This is our lives now. Nah, he's kidding. When you reach the center tile of this forest, uh, you can attempt to catch the Black Chocolo. The Daniel Ray doesn't advance here. Now, this little feller is uh, tricky. Um, he moves randomly, very erratically at that. And uh, Bars has to be a thief, uh, because he needs the dash skill. He is separated from the rest of the party during this wild goose chase, so he has to do this on his own. Now, what the Chocobo prefers to do is sticking on the upper portion of the screen until you approach him, and when you get close to the Chocobo or you interrupt its pad, it's going to abruptly switch directions, at which point you just have to track him down and it's going to look real silly. But my recommendation is when you reach this Bart's text box, the fourth one, and you clear it, you want to hold the, the B button to run, press up, and when you're past the, the tree on the center, you go one tile to the left and then keep pressing up. Now, to catch the box Chocobo, you have to press A next to it, and if the Chocobo moves off the way, you just have to chase him. <laughs> then it's, it's, there is not much to do about it, so let's see how he behaves this time. There we go. Uh, so, he just likes shuffling uh, on the top row of the screen for some reason, and around these bushes, so usually he's just going to stay in there until you get there uh, by running. But sometimes he just moves down, sometimes the Black Chocobo can also move through you, and it's just a weird interaction that happens when two uh, really fast moving sprites in collide with each other at a precise uh, location. This also can happen on machine heads on the Pyramid of Moor, but uh, it's uh, hard to predict. Uh, but uh, when it happens unintentionally, as is in this uh, uh, catch, uh, it is a pain for sure. Anyway, we got the Black Chocobo, and he provides us with the missing. Uh, Fire Crystal Jobs, Bard and Hunter. Bard sees use on late game. We learn the high command of it, and we use it to take cover during a boss, a real mean boss that just spams AoE magic and it's impossible to tank out otherwise. So we use uh, high luck powers until it's uh, safe to destroy the boss. Uh, Hunter is a purely physical offense job class, uh, but uh, we don't have time to learn rapid fire, so um, it's a little wordless. It's somewhat useful for the agility because it's uh, faster to input than a thief. It takes uh, one input less. And uh, um, sometimes that's useful, but for this route I haven't found any applications for Hunter. It just uh, warms the bench. Also, very important here, on the part of the song, you have to say Hua. You have to. Alright, now this run is valid. It's tradition, dude. He cannot argue with that. Now uh, we gotta head to Lix. So uh, go south to west until you reach uh, these uh, two uh, little islands and then go south. And this is going to put you in the general direction of Lix Village. And here you just want to land uh, and right next to it. Also, the Daniel Ray doesn't advance when flying on the Black Chocolo. Don't be too concerned about your step route because. Uh, the reason it was so lax about the step manipulation during the ocean sequence is because we're going to start the mini dragon grind soon, so even if you are one step or maybe three steps off, it's going. the step route will correct itself when we reach those encounters, so just don't do anything exaggerated like getting 10 steps before leaks and you should be fine, so don't uh, um, sweat uh, the step route until we reach the mini dragons. Now we can... Uh, uh, access leaks, enjoy this lovely soundtrack. I enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, so, here is the second floor of the convenience store, and uh, my friends, this is where we're going to stock up on tools for the throw command. Let's get rid of all the things we've acquired. Um, I set up the inventory management specifically so we can get rid of the protect tonic, the eaters, and the potions or the flame scroll in this instance. So that we have three empty slots up top here, so that we can set the scrolls on convenient locations and they are easier to access for a throw command, so we can get to this quicker. First, we're going to avoid the Thunder Scroll, so they go to the top of the inventory. 41 of these, we're going to be spamming this quite a bit. One Water Scroll for an encounter on the Quicksand Desert, and uh, 5 Shurikens. These are fairly expensive, so um, you don't want to go um, on a boy and a spray for this, and so 5 is enough. We need uh, 3 for Sandworm, 1 for an encounter on uh, the Floating Ruins, and another for AQ80s, and that's enough. We still have to watch out for our money, because we need... Uh, um, to still sustain uh, Giltos when time comes. 
And after that, you also want 11 kunai. Uh, the reason for this is that uh, they boost agility by one, and ninjas can dual wield them, so you want to equip uh, two of these to boost agility by a couple points. So just buy 11, they are not that expensive and the input is quick. And uh, then we also want to interact with this guy down below, because he has uh, armors. We want three green berets and a couple uh, star robes to complement the one we got on the ancient library. And uh, all, the, all of this uh, gear uh, boosts agility. And uh, we need this because the throw command, uh, when throwing a weapon, it references uh, the character's agility. So the better your agility, the stronger your throw damage. So we are acquiring a ton of uh, speed boosting equipment to enhance the power of uh, uh, the shurikens. And uh, that's it. Also, here's a backup uh, shop. Uh, this guy gives you some dialogue, and he does offer discounts at half price, I think, from what distance normally sell for. Um, specifically, you want to look out for a tent in case you sold this on Karnak uh, to make up money. Uh, we, we need exactly one tent uh, upon World 2 arrival for a sequence trigger, so don't forget this. This is your chance for that, and also some other safety items, but we don't really need this. So, uh, get the tent. We can leave uh, the village. That's everything we need to do here. Also, you can have a step on the choco, but like I said, don't worry about the step right here. It's not that big of a deal. There we go. Uh, now we gotta reach uh, history. You just keep going to the west. The black choco cannot fly over these uh, tall mountains. You just shuffle around here until you reach uh, this forest. History is over here. But you can land anywhere here. Um, we'll be fine. Okay, now for the mini dragon setup. First off, we want uh, ninjas. Now is the time where ninjas take over, now that we have scrolls. So, Lena goes to ninja, she equips dimension magic. Um, we use this to boost uh, our magic power, because when uh, you equip a command of a magical job class, usually it's going to transfer some of the magic power of uh, said job class, so now we're going to get sort of the magic power of a time mage by equipping this. Uh, Lena should have picked the dimension magic somewhere between the fire crystal and the ancient library. She had the Liquid Flame, the Sergeant, uh, Ifrit, and uh, Biblos um, to acquire this skill. So you have no excuse to not have this if you've been um, uh, watching out for Lena surviving at the end of battle. So that's the first one. Uh, she doesn't want to equip anything because uh, we want her to be consistently slower than the Galuf and Barsa's ninjas so that we have uh, a better turn sequence. But uh, Lena already has enough agility to boost the power of the Shurikens at 40 agility, so she doesn't need the extra equipment anyway. And next we also want uh, Galuf as a ninja, of course, with the black commander to further boost the power of the throw of uh, throwing scrolls. Uh, scrolls, by the way, use uh, the exact same formula as magic spells, it's the same uh, uh, magic parameters. But uh, now Galuf wants to quadruple equip all this speed boosting gear, and uh, that's 4 plus agility points. Now we're gonna, going to be a lot faster than several bosses. And also, Bart's the same, Ninja, Black Command, Optimize. And Faris uh, keeps working on the Escape Command. Even if uh, she survived every boss up to this point, she still cannot have the Escape Command, unfortunately. But um, she will finish that up on the Mini Dragon Grind, or Sun Worm at worst. But yeah, nothing to, to equip here. Um, we're just going to kill the Mini Dragons anyway, and you can Optimize. Um, we want this so that she's consistently faster than Bart's, uh, even with all the speed gear. Uh, we want Faris to be faster so that we uh, know where she's going to be located on the, on the turn sequence because it's better to know that she's going to be fierce and defend that always with a buffer instead of waiting to see where she speed ties uh, compared to Bart and Galuf. Having uh, the uh, armor is preferable and uh, that's it for the setup. All right, so outside of a step round you absolutely need to save. <laughs> Because uh, you cannot guarantee many dragons, they are the uncommon encounter, that would be the number level that's 3 on my formations. So as you can see, that doesn't pop up too often. Uh, the step route, however, uh, manages to get 3 mini dragons lined up right next to each other, so it's a good idea to extend manipulation up to this point if uh, you want to learn that. But now we have mini dragons. The reason we got in these guys is because they have excellent experience. Fantastic experience. It's uh, so good that it compares to World 3 levels of quality. It's uh, the best experience we can get on World 1, so they die very easily to the setup we have prepared. Um, 
For a fierce encounter, they usually die to two throne scrolls if uh, Galuf and Bards have the black level 2. If uh, they survive, then Lenny is a backup. But for the next encounters, then they will die for sure to only a couple uh, uh, line scrolls. But yeah, you want to buff their off uh, first section, then throw a thunder scroll. You can just go to throw and then hold A, because uh, given the menu setup, uh, the thunder scroll should be on, at the top of the inventory. But yeah, you can, if uh, the mini dragons die, you just defend off uh, Lenny's turn. Make sure to not consume the Thunder Scrolls with Lena, because even if she doesn't uh, cast them, they are still deducted. When you select them in the menu, they are gone. So um, be careful about uh, Holy Day, Bob and that. But yeah, check out all this experience. We're going to bomb the party from level 6 to level 13 on only 3 encounters. That's how much experience the mini dragons give. So for the first couple encounters, you can just hang around uh, anywhere on the forest. Uh, that shouldn't be an issue. Throw, throw, defend. And there we go, the mini dragons. But for the last encounter, make sure that you uh, shuffle uh, around the black chocobo so that we are close to it in its proximity. Uh, it doesn't matter if you land on top or uh, next to the chocobo, because uh, you can just half a step into the chocobo to correct the proper uh, step count. But yeah, all this experience, uh, as you see, I am dealing better throw damage now. It's going to give us more HP to tank out bosses, uh, better uh, multipliers. It's going to make the route a lot easier. And at this point, uh, we cannot do cheese strategies that well without uh, having a reasonable ability to tank things. So uh, we definitely have to ride. If you're yourself a step route, this is going to be a lot trickier because you cannot guarantee the mini dragons and they are doing common encounter and also Ram will be around here to torture you. So uh, what you want to do is uh, save it would win every encounter and uh, if you don't get it on the first try, uh, you escape, save and then reload to give you a different seed. So let's see what happens here. Uh, mini dragons, that's, that's kind of cute. But yeah, if you save and reload, it should be giving me a different seed here. No, it's still the same. But I say now Ramu is popping up, he just loves appearing. Um, but you should be faster than Ramu, so you can just flee from him. But assuming that you don't get many dragons, then you just keep uh, saving, reloading, saving, reloading until you make uh, the encounter happen. But yeah, this is the reality you live in if you don't have a step route to help you uh, get the mini dragon encounters. Um, alternatively, you can, instead of saving after every encounter, you you save when you kill the mini dragons, then save and then reload. I cannot really give you good advice on how to manipulate them outside of a step route because uh, the game just generates random seeds. But if you cannot, if you don't want to do that and you're taking a while to get the mini dragons, you have an alternative for grinding down here. Um, Assuming the game stops giving me this. Uh, Forbidden formation. There we go. You want an encounter with these black uh, flames, five of them, which are the next best bet for grinding for most routes. Uh, These guys die to a single line scroll and they give a good amount of experience, so it's going to take you a similar amount of time. Just If you decide to grind this instead, just make sure that you go up to level 13 and then you can be on your merry way. But I have to step around. I got my levels. It's more efficient. Uh, if you're besides the Black Chocobo, then you want to half a step, so hold A when uh, going into the time next to it, but uh, that's how you can correct uh, the step route. It's... Uh, it just fixes itself, even if you are one tile off, uh, sometimes off. Uh, when you get the encounter, you are just going to get back on track. As long as you didn't skip the first formation. <laughs> And before entering the Ancient Library, on this side, by the way, you want to be close to the Ancient Library when you land, uh, we want to be at 199 taller steps. 